We made it. We made it. Do do Overland video? West. We'll go over and do the video. Oh, here's the Gotcha. <laughs> Just kind of maybe go around and, and do some stuff and check it out. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, it's me. I finally made it. Mecca, Overland West. I came into uh, Las Vegas to visit with Caitlin, and once I got here, she says, Dad, when's your next adventure? I says, well, I just went to Moore, and the next one is Overland West, but I don't, I, I, don't, I think it's here pretty soon, so I checked, and lo and behold, it's this weekend. So Caitlin and I uh, loaded up her Subi, and we headed out, and we got into Flagstaff this morning. We're going to attend the Overland West. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. We also uh, are going to stay all night in Flagstaff and just, just kind of chill out and enjoy what's here. And I can tell you folks, man, this is just awesome. This is probably one of the uh, uh, biggest events in the country as far as overlanding, I'm pretty sure. It's the grand granddaddy of them all. There's 400 ex uh, exhibitors here. There's all kinds of, of, of people that are into the overlanding. So we're gonna put together some video for you and, and, and put it on the channel. Line, we're gonna talk about power break, which I have on baby girl which we talked, I met him out at East, and I'm gonna ask me about his product, but I can tell you for a fact, I used them going a 70 day venture out in the mountains of Colorado, Utah, Moab, and they work fantastic. So I'll give you a chance to talk about that. Yeah, so uh, we're a family business. Uh, we started in South Africa 33 years ago, and we manufacture everything in South Africa, and then we're based out of North Carolina, so just north of Charlotte. and. Really what we do is we 100% focused on 4x4 and overland brake kit. So we do big brake kits and then we do bolt-on solutions. So everything is a correctly engineered solution for the truck. So for example here we have a six piston caliper for a Tacoma. And the first thing that it does is it has this big bridge over the top. So we want to make the caliper as rigid as possible. So we don't want the caliper to, to flex. So we, we give you that rigid, rigidity with this big bridge. Every single caliper's got temperature measurement. So we know exactly what temperature the brakes have run to. We have things all recessed and put away. So there's nothing that sticks out on the caliper that can be damaged. So for example, the bleeder screw is recessed away. If you look at the original, it's got that sticking out, which is a really bad weak point. We bolt from the back. So we give you all that wheel clearance. We have stainless steel pistons, not aluminum. So with the brake fluid sitting here in the caliper, we want to transfer heat slower towards the brake fluid. So stainless transfers heat slower than aluminum. We don't have these um, rubber boots that sit there and get burnt and brittle. And then all that junk is going in towards the pressure seal. So we have an internal wiper seal protecting the pressure seal. So that's just a quick background on the caliper. And then if we move over here, we have uh, much bigger rotor that goes into the kit so it's a 48 curved vein rotor so basically the the veins are curved so it acts like a centrifugal pump it's going to pull air in and then push it over so we want to get as much air flowing as fast as possible every single rotor has got temperature measuring on it so we know exactly what temperature the brake systems run to so that way you can make an informed decision on the brakes it's complete bolt-on solution so when we did the truck it has the brackets, it has the braided hoses, it has the high performance brake pads, so it's just a complete solution. And this is it, and I can say for a fact that I'm using this when I was out in Colorado, for example, Old Far, Engineer, Imogene, Black Bear, I used it on all that. And come, going up is one thing, but coming down is a different story, and I can attest and say for a fact that these things work as advertised. So thanks, Delon. Appreciate, Thanks, man. It. We'll appreciate it. We'll put you on the channel. Yeah, awesome.
Hey, this is my guy Scott. We uh, looked up at Moore, we talked to him, and he's with Adventure Further Overland. And he is a great guy. He's got a tough goal. He's got the Wrangler, and he's got the Gladiator, and he's got this decked out. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about the Ursa Minor Camper. Yeah. So we got our 2023 Eco Diesel, and we just threw the Ursa Minor top on it. Came out to the show. And uh, right before it got it installed, and now we're here in the Ursa Miner booth with John, the owner of Ursa Miner, showing it off. And so far, everybody really likes it. Uh, it's, it's. Uh, I've had a lot of people come up to me and they're like, "That's got to be one of the best Jeeps in this show." That's for sure. I, so, like, I like the color match too, Eddie, <laughs> yeah, honestly, because it comes black. Yeah, so, so they come factory black. Um, and but I optioned with John when I bought it. I told him, don't paint it. I'm gonna have my body shop paint it to match, just because I just love the color of it. So it turned out great. Can't wait to use it. So. And they've done a great job on it. And again, like you said, we first met at uh, Moore, you know, and we kind of traded information. We sat and we talked, and just an overall great guy. So hey, if you're not following the channel, Adventure Further Off Road, you might want to check that out. Yeah, thanks, guys. So this is my, so you're actually, yeah. this is my wife, Ashley. Ready? Now this is John from Ursa Miner, and I've seen Ursa Miners on some of the YouTube channels I watch, and I think they're fantastic. I like the idea of the fact that you can get inside and stay inside your Jeep or inside your unit and not have to worry about getting in and out. And uh, fit and finish on this thing, from what I see, is fantastic. And I have John here from Ursa Meyer. You might want to give us a little bit of insight yeah, on it. Yeah, well, we've been at it for a long time now. I think it's, uh, we started out over in 2009 with our Honda campers, and then we brought the Jeep out in about 2011, so time flies. So obviously, we had a lot of campers make the proof that our current production covers JK and JL campers, and we've got a new Bronco coming. But one of, the, one of the main things we're striving for is we build the whole camper. It's custom made specifically to support all the things we do. So it lets us make more, a stronger hardtop underneath, but also we can now customize it with a drop star and a way to top. So it's thicker, stronger. Some of the outcomes, it's quieter inside. We can do three or four different options for windows, from inserts to sliders. Uh, all the wire and everything's all tucked up out of the way. We can run outlets, lights, all these things part of the camera. Uh, and then we've got the accessories like the, uh, this is our new Yaku 270, all you need to watch the boot here. It's a great test yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. testing yeah. it both hail yeah. and rain. Yeah. So and, and that's good. It works well. It works well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a good crowd in here. Yeah. Um, no, we, you know, we can mount them on either side. We've got the camper itself to support racks. So we really use the Jeep as a base for travel. It's not uh, made. We have customers that rock crawl with them because they're not adding as much weight as most people think. So our generally, the camper itself is going to weigh around 300 pounds. So that's a lot. But we're pulling almost 140 off when we pull your hard top. So your net change with the base of the camper is only 150 pounds. And that weight's a lot lower than most rooftop top tents because we have quite a lot of weight in the lower section of the unit we built, not the upper section, which is a little higher up. So what you're going to find is it doesn't affect the vehicle handling and correct center gravity as much. So that's, that's kind of a quick overview. You'll notice a couple of things we do in our own. We're a franchisee for a company called Bullet Miner. So it's all done in-house. Um, the UV top is got super tough skin for the whole party. You're not going to see the scratches on it. Um, other things, we use a lot of factory parts that allows us to store off of things like wiper and defrost on these cars. Uh, the windows themselves are factory opening, so if you ever break a window, you can go to any dealership and get a window. Okay. So I noticed too that you still want, what's the turnaround time on uh, some of your products? We've been pretty long with post COVID. Uh, we're getting back down to about 60 to 90 acres. Okay. So obviously it's going to depend on the options you chose, where we're shipping it. Uh, we have a choice of shipping it out to you or we come out to the shop. So where are you located at? Uh, we have a shop in Portland and our main base is in San Diego, California. Well, thanks, I appreciate it. Hey, man. no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, as you can see we're not at the Expo West. Uh, we had to retreat back to a hotel room. The weather is lousy, I would say, raining. Uh, we got there, sunshine, everything was pretty nice. And then all of a sudden, it just cut loose. I mean, it cut loose bad. Uh, hail, we had a hailstorm that came through also that was there. So 
Caitlin and I kind of seeked a little cover underneath some of the uh, awnings of some of the uh, vehicles that were there. We ran into Scott from Adventure Further, him and Ashley, and we had a conversation with them, basically talked to them for quite a while underneath <laughs> the comfort of their, their uh, 270 Batwing. And uh, it just got worse. The weather got worse. It got cold. It was nasty, dreary. So we were treated and uh, retreated to a, hotel, a hotel room here in the right downtown Flagstaff. So we're gonna make the best of it though. We're gonna find a good place to eat this evening, go out and have a good meal, and maybe look at tomorrow going back to the expo. So a little disappointed, uh, but I get to spend time with my daughter. So it's a good day. Hey guys, you ain't gonna believe this. I mean, this is something that that I, my wife and I, and you guys know this, someone that we followed from the beginning. Uh, and you know that I had the uh, heart attack and I had the quadruple bypass. And my wife says, you need to have a hobby. And I says, okay, what am I gonna do? I says, well, I'm gonna build an overlander. And I bought a Jeep Wrangler, put it together and started watching YouTube. And one of the persons that we started watching is Venture Forward with Chris. And he has been instrumental in my recovery. In my recovery and my dream Thank to you so much. get out on the road and to do this. And my God, this is just, I got goosebumps sitting here. And I just <laughs> want to introduce you to Chris. I'm happy to have uh, been with you through that recovery and to have inspired you. And this is him. So. And I, I just want to take a quick uh, moment of his time just to say that. And this, this is, this is God's work right here. This is an opportunity to, to meet somebody that you. Uh, and I'm an old guy. I'm, you know, I'm an old guy, and I don't. And I've been through a lot, and I've met a lot of people. I met the president of the United States. I've met senators. I've done all of that in my career. But for him to be there, to watch him, to be instrumental in giving me leadership and guidance and what to do and how to do it and, and, and cheering for him on his journey. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to, to let you guys see it. So. I appreciate that and, uh, and thank you. That helps keep me going too. It's why I do it. Okay. All right. Okay. To Journey Overland here at uh, the Expo West. We're going to sit here and we're going to land on Rose Monster. Ross Monster, yep. Ross Monster is going to give us a little tutorial on his <laughs> his van here we looked at. And we're again in the market for this, something like this. Uh, wife and I, and uh, we're just doing some stuff. So you want to kind of walk us through and see, for sure. see what you got for it? Yep, yeah. So this is a, a van that we built here. It's a 2023 Sprinter van, all wheel drive. So stepping in here, we went with a super kind of open layout. So we've got countertop on the entire passenger side. So it's pretty nice, you can stand here and cook, do the dishes, whatever. You can actually have two people in here cooking at the same time. This aisle weighs like 30 inches wide. So you can actually walk by each other, which is really nice. Also when you're at camp, not at the expo, open up these rear doors and you have the full kind of pass through, which is really nice. In the back down here, we've got just storage. Um, use it however you want. We also have our system storage. So this van has 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. It's got a 12 volt AC unit, 200 watts of solar on, a roof, on the roof and 3000 watt inverter. So with this AC, you can run it for like 30 to 35 hours continuously off your batteries. Uh, this van also has in-floor hydronic heating, which taps into your diesel fuel tank, as well as on-demand hot water. For the bed here, we have a Murphy bed. So at night, this guy folds down. You got your mattress we hinged it so that you don't hit that cabinet it just flips right around like that tucks in flares on both sides so you have like six three of sleeping length really width of the van but sleeping length um, you can leave all your sheets set up on here tuck your pillows back on this side as it flips around in the morning it goes up clips in place out of the way now you can cook again moving forward in the bottom of this guy, we've got a toilet on 500 pound slides. So this slides out, it's a compost toilet in here. We do tons of different toilet options, so it's kind of up to your preference. We have a 130 liter fridge here with the two burner induction cooktop. And then a two, or the two kind of last cool things in this build. This is a swivel bench seat. 
So in camp mode, swivel it, face it. You can enjoy the views out your sliding door. And then it swivels faces forward. So you can have four three-point harnesses driving down the road facing forward, which is gonna be much safer. And then lastly, if you guys step out, I'll show you just right in this sliding door here. So this guy is your indoor shower. So it folds down, you step right in here, you've got hooks in the ceiling for your shower curtain to come up to. You pull your shower head out, attach that to the ceiling. Or if you guys are out dispersed camping, camping wherever, just put this outside, you can take an outdoor shower, which is pretty sweet. And then again, folds up completely out of the way. So we packed pretty much all the nice things in like a 170 or 170 extended, those longer wheelbase fans, into this 144 chassis. But you still have all the same features. Cool. Very good. And that's that's outstanding. To make sure I pronounce that right, right? Ross Monster? Ross Monster. Ross yeah. Monster, good. And that's, uh, from looking at that and seeing the, the setup on that shower, not seen that before. That's pretty yeah. cool right there, be convenient. So. Yeah. A good, good van. And from my uh, perspective, looking at it, fit and finish is just fantastic. So I've been looking for vans. We're doing our research and looking, and we're going to put this one on the list. So. Okay, hey again here at, uh, at the Flagstaff and Overland Expo West, and look who I ran into. What's going on? Right, Good to guy. see you, my yeah, friend. Yeah. <laughs> lava, the lava box which we purchased and we have and we use it, and I've got a lot of things. Uh, guys from uh, I just left Morris yep. Expo up there in Missouri, and guys really liked it. I had people come around asking perfect, a bunch of questions. And just got my man here. Maybe he can give us a quick, a quick. Uh, uh, little sales point on his on the, on the absolutely lava. absolutely and you guys know you were coming into the forest fire season so everybody will have fire bands across the west even we're seeing the east and then even in the you know midwest we're seeing fire bands everywhere we built the lava box to make something that was going to pass the fire ban but still be a real fire you know i don't i don't want to go out in the woods and have something that's not a real fire that feel like a real fire so you know our fire makes 280,000 btus out of that little box so. And that was the impressive part. They come by and they want to see it, and I crank that puppy up, and it's like, whoa, it looks so. Yeah, and, and again, guys, he's busy trying to get things square on. I just want to take a moment to, uh, to let him. him know, too, and let you know that I have one. And it's no sponsorship, no nothing of that nature. Nope. It's just I bought it, we use it, and it's great. So I just want to pass that on. And the other thing, cool thing about I the company, you. I lost my cover, and he gave me one. I'm so about to give him cool. a T-shirt. So. <laughs> cool, You're about so. to get a T-shirt. So. Yeah. so thanks. Thank you. Yeah. We're here at Expo West, and I'm with the cook partner and uh, the owner of the company here, Jaime. I'm going to talk to him about the cook partner, about the one I have. I just so happened to purchase this one a couple years ago, maybe not, maybe less, maybe a year and a half ago. And I used this on my 70-day journey out, out west. I went up Route 66 all the way up to the Pacific Northwest, down and around and back to uh, South Dakota. But, I mean, I want you to know, I use this every day to cook my meals on and that, and it is just a fantastic product. So if you want to tell a little bit about your product here, uh, that'd be great. Okay. Well, they're full aluminum construction. The shell's all aluminum. The the grates, the grills, they're stainless. Um, everything's recessed, so you don't knock it down. Um, and it, it, you know, they, they just fold up. Compact, easy to pack, super lightweight. Uh, there's nothing to knock off on any side. Uh, we can make them in Pocatello, Idaho. That, that's one of our biggest pride of, of it. So yeah, they're they're handmade here in the U.S. Um, and every piece we, we've been doing them this way for 40 plus years. Uh, Thank you. By hand. You're welcome. Uh, the, the good old-fashioned American way. Yeah, and the thing about it too is that it's a tank. I mean, it really is a tank. I've looked at others, and as a matter of fact, I've had others, uh, and this one to me was the the one that I needed to fulfill my journey and to be able to make sure that the product stays the way it does, and it does what it does. The other thing that's a good thing is that this whole inside burn with this great stainless steel, it comes out. All right, so cleanup is just a breeze. I mean. 
you can take this out and wipe this down inside here and along the top and it just it, it stays clean there's nothing that that can get there's no area that you can't clean and keep it clean so that's important to me too when when i'm looking at a stove and you look at other stoves and they've got stuff over them but you can see they have different sizes they have accessories that go with their flat tops different cooking apparatus that you can use and it's just a fantastic product uh, i say this because i purchased it uh, wasn't given to me i purchased it and i like to tell people the things i use i like to get them out to the people that are looking and i 100 percent support this company so very good well, thank yeah. you honey. Okay. yeah if you want to pan the rest of them you can see the different models uh different applications that these can be used for that's a, a 20 or an 18 inch four burner that folds up And everything is lightweight. Again, recess knobs. You can throw them, be pretty, pretty rough with them, and they'll, they'll withstand the beating. It's a 26 inch uh, six burner. Again, it folds up, the same concept. And that will feed a small army when you get two of those. A lot of cooking area here. And our, our 22 inch, kind of our flagship um, two burner with the griddle. Same same concept, same components are used on every stove. Uh, same burners, just a different size and the amount of burners is what changes. We have the little nine inch. And so I personally have the 22 inch and this little guy right here, the nine inch that goes with me everywhere. Because sometimes you, the three burners too big and they easily, they, you know, they, they, they store pretty good. And sometimes you don't need the 22 inch for the meal, you can go there. And then we have the... Yeah, and you can see too, again, I, the quality that's in this. I mean, if you want to look at the fit and finish on this and look at the welds and everything, it, it's very impressive. So if you want to buy something that's going to last, and then I, I highly recommend this. If you want to, if you want to go buy something and keep changing and keep changing, you know that's to me that's something that when you go out in the field and you're out in the woods or you're outside, you want something with quality that's going to last you. So again, I mean, I really appreciate you, you bet. and thank you so much for the for the demo. Okay. Hey, I'm here again at uh, Overland West here, and uh, guess who I ran into? I ran into Marco, and uh, I just want to explain, Marco, that uh, watched you a lot. Thank you. As a matter of fact, a subscriber, and uh, we watch you a lot. Uh, I steal some of your stuff on your Scotto. Uh, I honestly, I can't. I don't have the prep area and the material that you do when you cook. But I get inspiration from watching your, watching you and watching you cook and your channel and everything. So it's just a, it's just a fun thing to be able to bump, bump into you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. And I'm not Marco, <laughs> but the beards are about the close. Not the Marco. <laughs> yeah, so thanks. Yeah. Okay, here again at uh, Overland West, ran into Marco, and this is Marco's rig, by the way, Overland X, Overland Adventure, but this is his 392, and we're here with Frank, who is the owner of XPO Gear. Uh, matter of fact, we just saw Marco, you guys installed this, I think, in a couple of videos back on That's YouTube. right. So Frank's going to give us some insight on, on, the, uh, on the side window entry. Right, right. Okay. So these are the uh, Expo Gear uh, Goldwing hat system with Molly panels. And what it is, is uh, the, you have a window guy, you could do it yourself, um, remove the glass. And then once you remove the glass, this system gets bonded in. No cutting, no drilling, no modifying the vehicle. Once it's in, one compression latch, two compression latches, and you have access to the vehicle. Once you have access to the vehicle, you can you can have uh, access to your um, your first aid kit, your deflators, some gloves, maybe a flashlight, something that you want to take on the trail and have it handy. The second thing is it, it, you can also outfit it with a lighting system. So if you want to light the area or, or illuminate in, in the camp area or uh, in the vehicle. So we're launching this product. We have a discount code uh, that you can post up a, a discount code on your channel. But uh, we're excited. We've been building gold wings for, for vehicles for the last eight years. We're excited to announce the JK and the JL Forder models.
And good, this comes in, and honestly, this is really cool because there's 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 either this way to get in or through the back. Right. So if I set up a molly panel or something in here, I need to get, and I can see too, use an example here, I have my ARB compressor mounted here also, the dual compressor, and it would be easy to get to with this with this invention here, right? Right, exactly, right. you get so, it. Great, so we appreciate it and appreciate you thank giving you. us that insight. Thanks for stopping Thanks. by. Uh, thank you. And we're expogear.com. Okay, here at Overland West, and uh, guess who I ran into? Lifestyle Overland. See this little topo bear? It's on the back of baby girl, my Jeep. So, awesome. ran into Kevin and the family here, and just thought I'd ask him to give me a 90 second hey and, and introduce him and, and introduce him to my channel so that we can do that. And we'll follow him here. So, hey, Kevin. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, good to see good. you. It's going good. It's good yeah. to see you, too. Yeah. So, from Overland East to uh, Overland West and in between. Yeah. And I want to I got a question to ask you though about the new fatherhood. Uh -huh. How's that going for you? Uh, it's had its challenges at times, but it's absolutely worth it. You know, we're just trying to get that sleep schedule down, but thankfully, thankfully she loves riding on the trails. So that's the biggest challenge right there, already taken care of. So it must be in her blood or something. Well, I think so. I think you're starting her out right. And again, she follows her sister. Oh, yeah. And it was growing like a weed. Yeah, you're going to be fine. And no, I just uh, want to take this moment. I've seen Kevin and family before at Overland East and out here. And I just want to let you know that uh, I followed them from the very beginning when I did my build and when I start thinking about going to Overland after retirement and doing that as a hobby and I just want to say that uh, with his information and what he's shown and how he presents himself and the morals and the values that he shows with his family out here it's just it was inspirational to me and it's somebody that I've been following for for a little bit of a while so just wanted to hook that up and put get Kevin you. on the channel the two journey <laughs> overland channel awesome and we'll go from there all right it's good to see you good to see you